self-motivation. Today, I will share with you something about self-motivation. But first, what is a self-motivation? Self-motivation, according to my research, it is a force that pushes us to move on or to move forward. And it is also our weapon to achieve and reach our goals. Yes, two words, but powerful. That's self-motivation, the urge to reach our goals. But the question is, do you have it? I am a 15-year-old student. I'm in the phase where I discover life, discover how to live, discover the things I want to do, and what I want to be. I'm in the middle adolescent stage, wherein I'm having mental changes, oh, mental breakdown, emotional changes, emotions, first thing out of nowhere and it also includes being unmotivated I always doubt the things that I do feels like there's something wrong and I do things just because I should not I would a great example our education today online classes I am one of the many students who are getting unmotivated doing online classes it's not that we don't want to study or I don't want to study but just a bit I'm just kidding but I know you'll understand we all know c because we all know it is hard to understand the lesson through the screen of your phone your laptop or whatever you use it is still the best to learn the lesson by face to face but I know in this situation right now we can't and also, the school activities. I know it's just three or four activities per week, but it will take days just to finish one activity. It's a bonus if you have an easy activity that can be finished just by an hour. And also, I always feel unmotivated when I'm doing an activity and I'm really I'm really into the activity that what I'm doing and suddenly someone's gonna give me chores to do. It's just, it doesn't feel right. It's just, it feels like you want to eat but there's no food to eat. It's so unsatisfying, right? But there's this thing that when something caught my attention, there's this fire that is being lit inside me that will make me interested or energized to understand or to focus on something what I'm doing and that is the time where I will start to do the three things to help you or to make myself self-motivated the first one set goals or standards for yourself. When I was a kid or elementary student, I'm one of the top students. But when I reached grade four, my um, my grades didn't reach the standard for for to be on top. But it's okay. It's, um, the good thing is, I just I I passed. I doesn't. Um, I didn't have feeling great and now that I'm in high school I told myself hey I don't want you to have a feeling great and I want you to have an improving grade and that's the goal or standard that I set for myself to have an improving grades and when you feel unmotivated, or when I feel unmotivated, I always think of that standard. And that's the time when I be, be, when I be woken from being unmotivated. Second, think of your inspirations, your idols, your family, or anyone that inspires you to keep moving on. In my situation, I idolized K-pop artists. And there are many K-pop artists 
that is smart. I told myself, if they can do it, so do I. Right? If they can do it, you can do it too, or I can do it too. It's just in different ways. And family. We all want our family, our relatives, our parents especially, to be proud of us. And they wouldn't be proud of us if we're unmotivated. Because who who would be proud of you when you're unmotivated? Like doing things just because you should, not you would, right? So think of your parents, or think of this, think of it this way. Imagine your parents, your relatives, anyone in your family that is proud of you because you did great, you did well, you have high grades, you're you're motivated. What do you feel? It feels great, right? It feels like you're the happiest person in the world. That's why you should think of your family or any inspiration of yours to be motivated again. Third one. Think or search for some motivational quotes. We have internet. You can search in Google or Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. They all they all have motivational quotes. Read those quotes and understand it and um, apply it in your situation. And I tell you that would help. And if it doesn't, I have two extra tips for you. The first one. If you're, if it doesn't work, the three of that doesn't work. Try taking your, taking time to talk to yourself. Or take time to rest. Just rest for a bit, cause I know it's tiring to do something. It's tiring to keep on going, keep moving on, keep moving forward. It's just tiring. So you should rest. You should rest or just stop thinking of anything. Just rest. And when you're good, you're good to go. You can now go, move on, go, feel motivated again. Just go, do the things you need to do. And last one, my last resort. Take time. To talk to yourself. Ask yourself, why are you unmotivated? Why am I unmotivated? And when you got the answer, ask again, why did it become your answer? And when you got another answer, ask again, why, why, why? Just ask why and why. Whenever you got the answer, it will give you the reason or it will tell you when did you start feeling unmotivated just keep on asking why so those are my tips first set standard or goals second inspirations third try reading some inspirational quotes if it doesn't work with your inspirations four taking some rest Try taking some rest. Fifth, my last resort. Try taking time with yourself or talking and asking yourself. Oh, my! this is the, really the last resort I have. Don't pressure yourself. There are many people who push themselves to the edge, to their limit. Because there are many things to do and I know that is one of the factors why a person is getting unmotivated. Pushing yourself to the limit. Pressuring yourself to finish this on time. This one, this one, this one, this one. And just don't pressure yourself. If you have many things to do, first look at it. And take time 
to list them all from the one who you need to do first or you need to pass pass first to your to the last or longest time to pass or try listening to um, your favorite music or common music when doing something like activities or works I know that will work so yeah those are my tips again standards set standards goals think of your inspiration look for inspirational quotes try taking some rest asking yourself why are you unmotivated and last don't pressure yourself that's those are the things that I do to make myself motivated and you know it is normal for one person especially a kid or an adult working to feel unmotivated it's normal it's not normal if you don't feel unmotivated at all try checking some some psychiatrist or psychologist if you have problem I'm just kidding but it's just normal to feel unmotivated just don't drag it whenever you walk or on I mean like just don't drag it through your life don't stick with being unmotivated it will not help you it will not help you move on it'll just keep you in a dark place dark shadow or in someone's shadow try being self-motivated or be self-motivated or be motivated because being motivated can lead you to your goal can lead you to your dream as I said it is the urge to reach our dreams or goals so when you weigh those two self-motivated and motivated it is heavier or there's so many perks when you are self-motivated than being unmotivated. Now, I'm gonna end this with a quote said by Larissa Manoban, a member of Blackpink. She said, it's worth it. Take time. I know it's worth it. That's it. Just take time. Because sooner or later in the future, you'll know it's worth it. That you did great. You, you past being unmotivated you would do the things to self to be self motivated i know L like lalisa said take time it's worth it i'm stalajan radika and this is my self motivation speech